Hi, this time I am going to try to use open tunes to make a walk cycle for a cat. I am mainly going to use the skeleton tool and the plastic tool. I am using a layout for open tones with a combo viewer and a X sheet window. I have a number of sprites for the different parts of the cat that I am going to load into different layers. Holding those layers together with a skeleton, I will then animate them in paper doll style. I will also use the plastic tool for the legs and the tail, giving these parts an extra flexible motion. Earlier I thought that you must use the command load level to load an image into a layer. Since then I have learned that you can use drag and click which makes for a much faster and easier process. Another useful trick I have learned since my earlier videos is to move the layers by holding the cursor over the left side of the head of the layer or column. Click, hold and drag. When I have loaded all the images into the layers and sorted the layers in the order I want to have them, I use the plastic tool to add meshes to the legs and the tail. In an earlier movie I have covered how to do that and I will not go into great details about that now. When I have added a mesh uh, I can move the mesh and the image follows where the mesh goes. When I have added all the meshes, I add skeletons to the meshes to control the animation. This too is something that has been covered in an earlier movie. Next step is to moving the part using the position tool and to set the center point that is going to be used for rotating. It is now time to join the different parts together, to join the different layers together using a skeleton. We are going to apply the skeleton using the schematics window and we find that under the windows tab. In the schematics window we see the different elements in this scene represented as boxes. The purple boxes are meshes and the green boxes are images or layers. We are going to connect these boxes drawing lines between a red dot on the master box to a blue dot on the slave box. The root in this chart will be the body image, so everything will be connected to the body image either directly or through another part or a mesh. We can see that we now have added a skeleton to the cat. 
this skeleton can be used to animate the different parts of the cat, rotating and moving. The skeleton also hold the whole cat together, the different parts that make up the cat, including the meshes, move the body of the cat and the whole cat will move with it. If we use the skeleton tool to move, for example, one of the legs that has a mesh attached to it, we will only move the leg, not the mesh. And uh, when the leg is outside the mesh, that part of the leg will be transparent. That is not of any use to us. Instead, we are going to move the mesh using the position tool or the rotate tool or we can animate the mesh and by animating the mesh we also animate the leg and we use then the skeleton in the mesh to animate it. Now all that is left to do is to create keyframes for the different positions in the walk cycle and keep tweaking that until we get something that looks like a cat walking. <laughs> 